my addiction was substance was alcohol my behavior during that time also workaholic and relationship starter and never knowing quite where I was going with them so always striving to be perfect and never so never so and I'm so glad I'm not and it gives us room for growth I mean if we were perfect what would be the point and over these last few years getting into recovery from addiction that is to see life better more clearer and as it is clarity if you like just one day only this one with less filters and less denials has helped me find myself and not knowing, knowing who I was probably for the first half century of my life means that for whatever is left or maybe I've got a better idea of why I'm here and as it says in Desiderato by Max Ehrman circa 1927 the final line says strive to be happy and maybe that's the title for this uh, video I think it is about striving to be happy and also knowing that we have to take it on the chin sometimes when life is hard and in, you know in terms of economic insecurity times are hard because the credit crunch is here and I live on a very low fixed income and all my bills have gone up and what can I do? And the simple answer is probably eat more porridge and be more frugal. And on a, a limited fixed income, that can be hard. But the truth is, for me, what, what makes life work these days is about understanding my emotional condition, my spiritual condition, and my physical condition. So in terms of emotional condition, that is, how are my feelings today? Why and what can I do? I'm very fortunate because I have a greater understanding of my feelings about life people, places and things. And in terms of spiritual, what is this thing called spiritual? As one Archbishop said, it's simply the ability to cope with life as is. And that is seeing life as is. The joy and the sadness with all our feelings. And whatever our physical state may be today is very dependent upon the other two things, emotional and spiritual. Because if we, sit, if we feel sad or low, and we don't know where we are, and we have no clue, and we're denying lots of things about, about ourselves, you can guarantee that maladies of, phys of a physical nature are probably going to manifest in terms of being stressed out and run down. So where am I today? I manage as best I can with the uh, physical attributes which have been somewhat hampered by other conditions. I've got type 1 diabetes, and thank goodness I got that in recovery whilst in a sober frame of mind because something like that just means when you're drinking what on earth am I going to do now and we get forlorn and wonder so these days I don't wonder so much and the gift of fellowship which has been something I never knew could help me I was trying to do it my way on the terms which I could understand me in control of my world and I never realized just how small my world got by not including others in it. So the thing, the thing in the morning of how am I feeling, why, what may I do, now is extended in a, in a sort of empathy with other people. So it's how are we feeling, why, and what can we do. So it's asserting that I have a part to play in life, and it's no bigger and no smaller than anybody else's. And the spiritual understanding for me is simply that, equal to have the right to strive to be happy. And that means that I have a place on the planet, as does everybody else. And my principle in that is that we are all equal in our rights. And unfortunately, some of these rights have been undermined by the way society and civilization has grown up. All very sad, but we have to deal with reality as it is, and the limits that we have as well. So I don't need to make them worse by going back to my indulgence of addiction to substance and behavior. And what I need to do is find a middle road. And part of that is the Fellowship of AA. And I'll read the preamble to it again because I feel, you know, it settles me down. It makes me understand what is possible and what is not possible for my fellowship and also for how life is today. So AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problems, problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organization or institution. Does not wish to engage or in any controversy. Neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So that's what my fellowship does. And uh, this is the 12th month. December and it fits in with the action steps, 12 action steps and in the literature of AA step 12 
which it reads as, Having had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps, we try to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. And the 12 action steps of AA are very simple about sobriety. And once we get sobriety right, we have a, a good chance of making each day work as best we can. It's no guarantee of absolute joy at the end of it, but by the end of a day we probably have a greater understanding of our part, the part we have played in each day. And how have we done it? Have we been even-handed or have we been selfish? Are we looking to improve, improve our lot at the expense of somebody else? And what we learn maybe is it's better to have some sort of camaraderie, be a part of, be a part of the, the great team that is the world and uh, see how we go. Anyway, in As Built Sees It, this book, one of the co-founders' uh, daily reflections, there is one here, to be rebuild security. In our behaviour, respecting financial and emotional security, fee, fear, greed, possessiveness and pride have too often done their worst. Surveying his business or employment record, almost any alcoholic can ask questions like these. In addition to my drinking problem, what character defects contributed to my financial instability? Did fear and inferiority about my fitness for my job destroy my confidence and fill me with conflict? Or did I overvalue myself and play the big shot? Business women in AA will find that these questions often apply to them too, and the alcoholic housewife can also make the family financially insecure. Indeed, all alcoholics need to cross-examine themselves ruthlessly to determine how their own personality defects have demolished their security. Yes, and I think I read that yesterday, but I'm not going to go back over it again. And uh, it, it's quite apt to actually understand our part in what is going on and what we've done in the past and how to, how to clear the wreckage of the past, which is often said in AA. And the only way we could uh, do something about the wreckage of the past that we have done is to admit fully to the extent of what we have done, open, honest and willing we need be to make our way in the future. And every time we want to hide away because we've maybe not succeeded, the program and the fellowship say, well, it's better to own up to where you are, because if you don't, how on earth are you going to proceed to the next point, or whatever it happens to be? And if you do this in an open, honest way, and be willing to make those changes, then life will, life will get better, surely, and a little sweeter, as we go along our path. And then we're included, and not excluded. And the other part of um, one of the readings, 24 hours a day book, for December the 4th, it's my mum's birthday, 77 today, and she's okay, checked. December the 4th, from this one, 24 hours a day book, not, not authorised by AA, it says, If we allow an alcoholic thought to lodge in our minds for any length of time, we are in danger of having a slip. Therefore, we must dispel such thoughts at once, by refusing their admittance and by immediately putting constructive thoughts in their place. Remember that al alcohol is poison to you. Remember that it is impossible for you to drink normally. Remember that one drink will lead to others, and you will eventually be drunk. Remember what happened to you in the past as a result of your drinking. Think of every reason you have learned in AA for not taking a drink. Fill your mind with constructive thoughts. Am I keeping my thoughts constructive? Well, thinking is a limited activity in the, uh, in the brain. It doesn't actually, the most important part of the brain is our feelings and our emotions. So if we have our feelings and emotions in a place where we understand them with our thinking head, where how, are, how am I feeling today, which is joyous, happy and free right at this moment, you know, it's only early in the morning, it could change. I need to be careful where, where my head may take me. <coughs> and what keeps me in the right place, really, is getting to AA meetings and uh, having a levelling of my ability to dr drift into ego, which is where I put my brave face on, hide my fears, and live in the world of fear. And these days, courage, faith and confidence comes a little bit easier. Courage to face what is going on. Faith that I can do my best. And confidence or self-esteem by doing esteemable things. <coughs> Excuse me. So the esteemable things to do today is to look after the people around me, to see my mum and say hello and happy birthday, and see how we go and just be part of and up for anything that people may ask of me and do some good things for myself and I've done that just very gently by doing this video.